Hey everyone, it's the final round and my name is Jordan. This is a channel where the episodes come out the day before the games are played and the lines are dropped. So I'll be giving you data on good opportunities for batters. If you're on a player prop app, you can take the player prop that the, the app gives you. If you're on a sports book, you could parlay hits if you want. Uh, you could do single bets, take home run opportunities. It's all up to you. I'm just giving you data on what I see are good opportunities for batters. Now the first place can be Adley Rushman of the Baltimore Orioles. Over the last five games, he's hitting 450. Um, he wasn't hitting very well the previous five games. That's why I'm not doing last 10, but last five games, he started to heat up. Um, he's going up against Jose Barreos, uh, who gives up a 264 average and a 431 slugging percentage to left-handed batters. And Adley Rushman is a switch hitter, so he will be on the left-hand side. Um, and he has very, very, very good history against Jose Barreos with 13 at-bats, 8 hits, 1 home run. So that's a 615 average, so 61% of the time he is getting a hit off of Jose Barreo, so very good opportunity and chance here for uh, Adley Rushman. Um, second base to me, Vlad Guerrero Jr. of the Blue Jays. Uh, over the last 10 games, he's hitting 278. He'll be going up against Dean Kramer, who gives up a 239 average and a 392 slugging percentage to right-handed batters. And I know that sounds pretty good for a pitcher, um, but this is going to be basically a historical pick if you're afraid of Dean Kramer's stats uh, against right-handed batters this season. You can fade this if you want. But historically, um, Vlad Jr. has 22 at-bats against him, 7 hits, and 4 home runs. Uh, so that's a 318 average against Kramer. So this might be one that, you know, just take a shot at a home run for Vlad Guerrero Jr. And I do want to point out he does have six strikeouts against him, so you could also take a strikeout prop um, if you have that available or if you have that in a sports book, have him striking out against Dean Kramer. Third pick's going to be Dalton Varso of the Toronto Blue Jays. Over the last 10 games, he's hitting 323 with three home runs, and he's a left-handed batter. So much better matchup against Dean Kramer, who gives up a 281 average and a 502 slugging percentage to left-handed batters. And he's got a tiny bit of history against Dean Kramer. He's got three at-bats, two hits, and both those hits were doubles. So that's uh, Dalton Varsho of the Blue Jays. And if you could have a little bit of time, could you please like the video? And if you haven't, please uh, subscribe to the channel. And if you have a little bit of extra time, could you leave a comment for the algorithm? You can say anything, uh, just uh, uh, leave an emoji, um, say hello. Tell me uh, how much you can't wait for the NFL. It doesn't matter. Just press submit and it tells YouTube to get the video out there to more people. And thank you to the people who do comment. I appreciate it a ton. Fourth place can be Zach Galoff of the Oakland A's. Over the last 10 games, he's hitting 390 with three home runs. He'll be going up against Jesse Schultens, who gives up a 299 average and a 496 slugging percentage of right-handed batter. So really good opportunity here for him to get some hits. And before I get into the string of last few picks, I want to point out a partner of mine, Parlay Play. Use promo code FINAROUND11. They'll match your first deposit up to $100. Um, they do plays seven man up to 75X. They also do slide the line where you can move a player's line up or down once a day. And uh, they also have a two man insured play. So they're doing a lot of different things and other player prop apps. I'll have a link in the description that'll take you straight there. And that's promo code final round 11 for that $100 match. So these last three picks, uh, looking at some Rays players, uh, the Rays are going up against Peter Lambert, who had a pretty good start last time out. He was a relief pitcher starting off the season, but they moved him to a starting pitcher. He gives up a 241 average to right-handed batters, which isn't that bad, but he gives up a 532 slugging percentage to right-handed batters, and that's what I'm mostly looking at here. Um, I really like that slugging percentage to right-handed batters. Um, so I'm looking at Randy Arozarena, uh, who's hitting 317 over the last 10 games and one home run. He hit a home run today as I'm filming, so 
Um, that does not count into the, the stats. I'm also looking at Yandi Diaz, who's hitting 413 over the last 10 games. And also Isaac Paredes, who's hitting 295 with two home runs over the last 10 games. He's also hit a home run today. So with that slugging percentage, uh, definitely for Rosarina and Paredes, uh, good home, home run opportunity. And, y and Yandi Diaz also has some some power to him as well. And he's he's got the best average uh with the the three guys so those are my seven picks if you'd like to discuss other lines uh, i have a discord the link is in the description you can hop on in it's not a premium or anything like that you don't have to pay anything and uh, there's good discussion about you know strikeout props um WNBA, korean baseball all kinds of stuff and uh, really smart people bringing their own research as well and uh i don't charge for any of this information if you do well with it and you feel like getting back i have a cash app and venmo in the description and you can donate back to the channel and thank you to the people who have donated back to the channel appreciate you all watching can't wait for nfl uh week one also college football can't wait for that as well um, so good luck to you all i hope you all do great i hope you're doing great uh tonight and uh it's the final round god bless you i will catch you on the next one bye